Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Markson and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing the movie Captain America. Um, I've seen this movie a bunch of times and again it's a really good movie as I mean, a movie that I'm doing reviews for. Anyway, this is my review for it and the reason I'm doing this is because Black Panther comes out soon and I cannot wait to see the movie so I'm very, very, very excited for that. So anyway, we start off with uh, people are in the Arctic. This is in present day and they see a ship frozen in ice. So um, they go in and investigate and they get in there and they find Captain America. Then we go back to 1942 where someone is after something and that someone is Hydra and they're trying to find the Tesseract which is they found a fake one and um, basically it was in Olden's vault and somehow it got to Earth. And so uh, they tw they torture um, the monk that I think they're in a monastery. I feel like, and so they found the real one, and then they kill the old man. Then we cut to Shrimpy um, Rogers, and he really, really, really wants to be in the army because he really wants to help people. But he can't enlist because he's got a number of issues, and he's always getting beat up and. Just he's trying to stick up for his core values and stuff. So basically, he's in a theater, and some jerk is trying to, you know, it's like, get on with the picture, get on with the movie. And because it's Bill's promoting helping the country in small ways, so he says something nasty to him. And so they go, uh, he gets beat up in the theater. And then Bucky, which is his friend, got to him and helped him out. And so they decide to go to the World of Tomorrow, which is part of the Stark Expo, and to where they show all these inventions and all this really, really cool stuff. And you have Howard Stark's uh, flying car that kind of works. They managed to get off the ground and it just kind of bye bye. Then Steve is like really obsessed with enlisting. And then he bickers with Bucky. And then he saw this guy. Um, saw the interaction and the guy's a scientist. Basically, like he tries to go to this other re recruiting place. It's been several times and this guy kind of calls him out all um calls out calls him out on it. And so um Steve doesn't like bullies and so the scientist enlists him. And then we get to an evil scientist working on a new weapon with the Tesseract and he's not doing it at full capacity so the other guy's like turns it to 100% and it works. And then we cut to where Barnes at camp. And then, um, no, Rogers at camp. Why did I put Barnes? Sorry. Rogers is at the boot camp. And then we have um, Agent Carter's intro. And then it's just the guys um, who's boss. And <laughs> basically he shows up everyone. It's like, my grandmother can do more pictures than you. God rest her soul. And then, um, and it turns out Rogers is, is not doing that well, but um, they do a test to uh, get flagged, but Steve is using smarts as they're doing drills around the camp, they're doing running, and so they said whoever can get to the flag can get a ride back with Miss Carter. So he literally goes down to the, uh, the bottom, pulls out the pin that's holding the flat pole up, it goes down, he gets the flag, and he gets the ride with Miss Carter. <laughs> so, um, the general does a test with Grenade, and he thinks that um, Rogers is, not going, is a good fit, and he thinks all these other guys are going to be able to do the job for the super soldier, uh, um, soldier test. So, uh, so basically, the general does the grenade test, or the scientist does, and Steve comes it himself by the the big guys kind of flee and be like a little girls and so the scientist calls and so he gets uh, to do the experiment. So the scientist talks to Steve and he learns about tomorrow, well they both are, and then Steve talks about Germany and Hydra and then and that how the scientists um the scientist talks to Steve about the serum and how they made them use it on the bad guy and he jipped himself with it and, and messed him up and it says tell and tells him to stay who he is and then we cut to where Hydra found the scientist and they put in an order 
Then Carter and Steve talk, and he does not know how to talk to women whatsoever. He is very flustered around her. And um, they tell him about like dancing and this and that um, after he warms up to her a little bit. Then they go to an antique shop slash the Manhattan Project, and it turns out Stark is running the entire show. And the scientist explains the procedure and how it's going to work and how painful it's going to be a little bit. The, the test starts and it starts to blow a fuse, but it did work. And then, um, then as they start to cr congratulate each other, a guy sets off a bomb and kills the scientist. And then Steve goes after him. Then Carter got one guy. And then Steve is literally running, literally after he gets injected. And then he starts running after this person, barefooted through town. Then get on the ca uh, on the cab, and the guy crashes. Then Steve uses the door as a shield, and the guy takes a kid hostage. Then Steve goes to get the guy, and um, after he bandits the kid, and the kid says, "I'm fine, I can swim." So he's like, so the guy gets into the submarine in the bay, or in the Hudson River, and is about to go away, but Steve manages to bust out the window and get him out. But then he, uh, and then went bye bye with uh, cyanide. Then um, we catch up with the Hydra weapon demonstration and how Hydra wants to come out from under um, the, uh, the people. I, I don't know if I can say that word without getting demonetized or whatever. I don't want to strike or anything. So anyway, um, he's trying, Hydra's going to come out from the main group and trying to be the main group and kills all the peoples that were like the head honchos. And then we cut to Stark and Carter going to London, and then the guy want, and the military people kind of want him just to do commercials and to sell bear on um, bonds to help the military and all that type of stuff. So, and and do shows like overseas, so they go to overseas and it doesn't go well. It turns out Steve can actually draw, he's a really good artist. <laughs> And then we cut to where Carter shows up and talks to him, and they see the injured, and they, and then Barnes is missing, and so basically see this location. So basically what happened was, he was doing all these shows, at first he was really bad at it, and then he got really good at it, and where he had to memorize, and the production got bigger and bigger and bigger, then he goes overseas where, um, they're not having it. <laughs> they're like, bring the girls back. So they kind of do that. So anyway, then he talks to Carter and talks about how um, his friend Bar um, Bucky is missing. So Steve goes to location, then Carter and Stark fly him over to location. And it's like an awkward convo with Carter. And then people are firing at the, at the plane. And so he jumps out and then Steve gets into camp and then breaks the people out. And so the little tiny little man, uh, scientist guy, he sets um, the place to self-destruct. Then Steve finds Bucky, and then Steve versus Red Skull. But Red Skull manages to escape, then Doc gets the bomb-ass car. That car is sick. I love that car. And they escape, and then they return to camp. With uh, Captain Merita was on uh, to get a medal, but he's on a mission. So basically... The guy was, the general's like, you're not going, but he goes anyway, and then everyone's all happy that he actually went and saved all these people. And the president was going to give him a medal, but he's currently, he was currently on mission, so captain enlists howling commandos. Then Carter's kind of crushing on Steve now, and then um, as they're going over stuff, and, um, and then... Steve talks to this girl, and this girl is literally throwing herself at him, and th they kiss, and Carter saw it, and she ain't having it. And <laughs> basically, um, they're testing out shields and stuff, and Stark asks for Carter's opinion, and literally shoots him like a bunch of times. And he's like, he's still alive, so it works. <laughs> and so he gets really jealous, and he doesn't know fondue means just cheese and bread. And when they're flying over, they're talking about, like, uh, Circle saying the car's like, let's get some fondue later. And he thought that meant something really dirty, but it's just cheese and bread. Then then Carter, uh, 
shoots at Cap's shield, like I already said, and then they're talking over the, then they start to take over the bases. Then Red Skull is getting really pissed about it. Like, super, super pissed about it. And then we cut to where um, the Helen Commandos move on train, but it was a trap. Then Bucky um, falls and he dies. And then the Helen Commandos get the scientist and he gets questioned by one of the generals. Then the Red Skull, um, Red Skull uh, boards the plane and then Steve and Carter talk and it turns out he can't get drunk because of superpowers. And then Steve and the Helen Helen Commandos go to the plane. And then Steve gets captured. And then the Red Skull and Captain America talk. Then Helen Commandos come in. Then Captain gets on the plane with Carter's help. And they kiss. Then he gets on the plane. Thanks to the fancy car. Which I love that car. So then uh, the bad guys get on the bomb plane with Captain America on top. Then Steve gets in and aims it at the big plane. And so the, as Reskull versus Captain America again. Then Reskull touches the Tesseract and dies or disappears. We don't really know what happened. And then the Tesseract uh, falls and disappears. And then Captain Carter have one final talk. Then Cap sacrifices himself by going into an iceberg or tundra. And then the Helen, Helen Commanders drink to the Cap. And then Stark found the Tesseract and was keep looking for Captain America. Then we cut to where Captain America wakes up in bed, but he knows it's off because the baseball game was playing in the background. He was actually there for that. So he um, was at the game and he escapes and it's 2012. <laughs> and Fury talks to him and he's like, I just had a date. And that's the end of the movie. Um, I love this movie because I, I like, I really don't like pure pieces period, really, except for, like, a couple, but this one, I felt like, was really good, and I love the storytelling in it, and just the whole evolution of it, and the whole final conversation between Carter and Steve Rogers, I really liked a lot, and it's just a great movie, I really enjoyed it, it's obviously a plus movie, and it's, like, it's blinding me almost, hello, but anyway, um, I really enjoyed it, and... I cannot wait for the other movie to drop for Black Panther. I'm so excited. But I will be doing the other movies as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below on what you think of the movie. And then um, suggest other movies or movies or TV shows or music. And then subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. I want y'all to have a super awesome day, okay? Just do it. Bye, everybody.